The Wireless Independence Act could legalize smartphone unlocks. Rumors have Apple working with Intel on mobile processors, and the BlackBerry Q10 is now rumored for T-Mobile. I'm Jaime Rivera, and don't look at me funny, I'm not looking for the lady in red. This is Pocket Now Daily. Ah, more BlackBerry release rumors. Don't these just annoy you? Uh, the Q10 was a really big mystery at the event when they launched BlackBerry 10 because we didn't get quite a good idea of when the device was going to be launched, but now we have new rumors of the device making it to T-Mobile first in May of this year, so stay tuned because some of us like Brandon really want that device. Now let's talk about Nokia. They've taken software really seriously when it comes to Windows Phone. They've launched a ton of applications recently, and now they've got a new one called Glam Me. But the purpose is that even though it brings you filters for photographs, it's really made just for portrait photos, which is kind of interesting because they've recently launched that hashtag to Insta with love, uh, you know, application recently, and we still don't see any Instagram. This is sort of like that, but it's not really that. But it's really interesting to see that Nokia keeps on bringing more apps and more apps to Windows Phone that are making the battle really interesting. Now, sadly, not everything is well when it comes to Windows. I mean, Samsung is the big player when it comes to smartphones, but in everything that has to do with Android. We saw the Samsung Ative tab, and a lot of us really wanted this tablet back at IFA, and it was a beautiful product and everything, but, well, sadly, we eventually learned that it wasn't coming to the United States, and now it's even being pulled by some countries in Europe, like Germany, for example, over the fact that it doesn't sell at all. It just makes you wonder what the problem is, but we know what the problem is. It's called Windows RT. It's a great idea with terrible execution. And for those of you who are wondering how the White House plans to bring carrier unlocks to something that's legal, well, it's called the Wireless Independence Act. That's the name of the new bill that's going to be passed that's going to focus on making your carrier unlocks legal. Obviously, the idea is that if you're already signing a two-year contract with a carrier, it's not like if you could pull back easily from that contract anyway. So what's the point about your phone being locked to the carrier if you're already locked with the contract anyway? So stay tuned. We're not really sure how long that's going to take but obviously it's in the works. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, new rumors have Apple working with Intel on building mobile processors for their future iOS products. Something we didn't think could happen, but it's not historically new. We do remember that Macs in the past used to use the PowerPC processor, which was built by Motorola and IBM, but was later ditched because these two companies couldn't put their act together. And they started using Intel processor almost simultaneously. So we did know that Intel was having a hard time with mobile processors, but at the same time, we do know that every single processor on iOS products is built by Samsung and we do know how things are in this department so that leads me to the question of the day how important is it for you uh, the processor that your device is running I mean in my particular case I think we're come to the times where that's really not that important I mean processors it doesn't matter if it's a quad core a single or a dual core processor yeah, probably single core processors aren't as good as the dual core processors but then the quad core processors haven't been as great or as groundbreaking as the dual core processors that we know so how important is this to you to me well it doesn't really matter except for the Tegra 3 that was terrible of course, as always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow as we have another edition of the Pocket Now Live. Now the usual where you can contribute as well as part of the Hangout. So stay tuned.